All right, uh, let's examine the the actual apartment. Or is there any? No, there is. There's a door over there as well. But let's check this area out first. Is this his office thing? California after dusk, the life of Richard Knight. Richard Knight was a pessimist. Even in the late 80s, when the economy seemed headed for endless growth and the nuclear threats for the ash heap of history, Knight saw the United States as hurtling toward collapse. Richard Knight was an optimist. Oh, we read this before, I think. Yeah, all right. Gonna leave that. What the hell is this? Saint? Saint Rosel. Looks like the same graffiti on uh, Judy's house. Saint Rousseau must be deodorant or something. <laughs> uh, no oh, messages. That campaign, Elizabeth Perales. To Shoshi Perales. Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything is in the control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself, take advantage of everything in Europe has to offer. Love, Mom. And then we have Elizabeth Perales to Judy Alvarez. Dear Mrs. Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you'll return the favor Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? And she says, I'm not sure if I can write now. Can I ask what this is about? Uh, it's about a certain brain dance. I'll be honest, the matter is of a highly delicate nature and discretion is as much as professional analysis paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Uh, believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tied at the moment. I know someone who can, you can call, though. He's a merc, known quantity at the afterlife. Does prime tier work. They call him V. I'm sure you'll be willing to help. Thank you for the referral. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Eric Boucher. Hey, Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leah Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day, when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Uh, don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, what you agreed on just slipped his mind. Plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leah remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff and let's all just put this matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for calling Ferry. Okay. Nothing really new here. But some nice backgrounds on Jeff's, Jeff's life. What are these screens all showing the same thing? That's freaking weird. Couple things. where we sleep. Oh, what happened there? Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Okay. Uh, there's something here. Wedding photo. Oh. Pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. Blue. <laughs> Blue roses. What, you sure? <laughs> the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Forgot your own uh, wedding photo that you slept. You sleep right behind it all the time. Hmm. Why can't I go over there? What the hell is looking me in the way? Uh, what's this here? America, a prophecy. Oh, this is that. Very weird the poem thing. A uh, couple of books. Nothing really stands out over here. Oh, hold up. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Fresh gunpowder residue, recently shot fires. Uh, <laughs> fired shots. Is this like a walk-in closet or something? Maybe. Chronicles of Titania. Is this a bathroom, I presume? Yeah. Probably not much to see here, except a max dock. Right. Let's continue searching the rest of the apartment, shall we?
Oh, yes, an upstairs as well, and a downstairs. Seriously? Alright, let's check uh, this floor first, though. And then we'll head upstairs, downstairs, whatever. Uh, is this another, like, living room? Damn, this house is confusing. It's also very dark. I don't really like that. Except this room. This is my favorite room. <laughs> Joe Till's down home. Oki Hoach. This is quite cool, though. We still need to unpack. Um, right. I think that's it for this area. Oh, no. Hold up. Broken. Where is it broken? Also, what's this here? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Oh, look at this as well. Maybe the intruders? Right. Probably. I'm going to force open this in. Follow the blood trail. Uh, where does it lead though? Oh. Over there as well. Okay. What is this room? Jesus Christ! I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Oh my! They have direct access to the uh, bedroom. They violated our privacy, sons of bitches, under my own roof. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust, watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. They got whole files on Too them as well. Long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. Oh, my head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Right. Uh, what's this? Uh, medkits. Partially used bandages, coagulants, pinched bleeding. Can you make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Maybe. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. <laughs> so, because they said there, were, there wasn't a, a break-in or anything. They could have used this ladder, I bet it goes out to the roof or something. Uh, let's see what's in the computer. Lots of blood. The messages report Operation Condon. Typical behavior of the target exceeds acceptable variant variation range. Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent events. I hereby authorized amplification of neural dampening. Whoa. Uh, despite objections from the Chief of Security, Wallace Target Alpha has contracted the services of a local mercenary. This qualifies as an extreme deviation from acceptable behavioral norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Request to pursue... Oh my god, are they robots? <laughs> I think they're robots. Uh, request to proceed with Operation Condon Target Alpha has been approved. A joint maneuver will be conducted with Team Orange. A joint maneuver. Mercenary contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports that the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. Suspension of Operation Candon. An extreme behavioral de deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field agent Blue 66M was severe severely injured by Target Alpha and evacuated by teams Orange and Black. Operation Suspension Protocol has been initiated and only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on here? This is crazy. So I can't uh, run it. Maybe it's just the inside here, I can't run. They can see through to everywhere. That is freaking great. Uh, what's that over there? Floor. Oh, it's the smart glass thing. Uh, some uncommon components. Rewiring sy synaptic pathways. I think I've read through this. The future of neurotechnology? Oh, yeah, yeah, because they were remapping the brain thing. 
Uh, we are carrying too much. Let me see what we can do here in terms of maintenance. Actually, I'm just going to go into my uh, backpack. Is there anything we can toss? This? Yeah, there are a lot of weapons here. Can we go? Kind of want to sell all the rest, though. Jesus. A uh, bunch of cyberwares. Can't really mod anything. I'm just gonna take some of this stuff off. There we go. I should be. I should be enough. Okay, we good. Uh, still need to examine the rest of the apartment. Actually, let me just see. Oh, there we go. We can fix the screen. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. What was that? Where else these? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot, or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. All of the cables. What? Okay, never mind. Alright, uh... You can follow the blood as well. If you wanted to, uh, let's go downstairs to see what's going on here. Any messages here? Welcome on board, Wallace, Chief of Security, new recruits. Welcome to the team and congratulations on your newest assignment. You have no doubts already been informed about the work we do here, but I'd like to take a moment to remind you how vital our responsibilities are. I priorities to protect our main targets due to their VP, VIP status. They are to be considered in cons constant danger, not only the most obvious kinds, but also with regard to privacy and emotional stability. You are all required to immediately report any behavioral anomalies from the VIPs on and off sites. Do not wait for your partner to do it. I think we'd all prefer slightly more paperwork over a full class 6 anomaly. Your security classification is code orange, which grants you access to all areas excluding Z Sector 0. Sector 0 is exclusively restricted to field agents tier blue and black. If you run into blue or black agents, during the night, do not engage with them whatsoever unless you receive a direct order from me or from said field agent. Follow the above rules and will ensure further continuation of the operation and the security of our VIPs. Urgent accidents. We have an urgent situation on the main side. There was a behavioral anomaly during maintenance works on a blue agent who was injured by target Alpha. Alpha is secure, but the blue 66M is in critical condition. I am requesting emergency access to Sector Zero in order to receive, retrieve medical supplies. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. I cannot grant remote access to Sector Zero, but the access code to the main room is 6709. You can remotely control access to Sector Zero from this terminal. I have informed management of the situation a black echelon rescue team is already on the way. That's weird, that's trippy. So we have a code now as well. Max the Max Tack Way by Matthias Maddox. What's this? Uh I was fortunate after publishing the first edition of this book to meet any people with fascinating stories. I spoke with people who lost loved ones at the hands of cyber psychos. I met the relatives of people who I shot. Needless to say, not every conversation ended on good terms. After some time, I learned that what questions to expect from my readers. Have you ever been shot? Yes, and I've lost counts. Who was the most difficult person to kill slash arrest? The 2063 Golden Springs Mall Killer. More titanium bone and sink skin than man. What causes cyberpsychosis? I'll let you know when I find out. Then, at a book signing in Haywood, I was asked a question I have never heard before. Is there anything that keeps me awake at night? After a moment's reflection, I realized the answer was yes. Perhaps most surprisingly, however, it was not the nightmares of eviscerated cyberpsycho victims, not the shrieks and cries of my squad mates as they burned alive. Cruel as it may sound, I grew used to that. It was just part of the job. No, what caused my heart to pound as I lie in bed at night is the thought that one day I too could succumb to cyberpsychosis. The amount of cyberware I've incorporated into my body is substantial, far more than most. I 
try to drown the human parts of me that fear, that doubt. I am aware just how fragile my humanity is, that piece of myself deep within that makes me who I am. One poorly clipped neuron, one hormonal overdose, and that piece of me disaster forever, leaving behind an automaton with only one desire to kill. In truth, I forced my mind to race, so I would not have to confront these thoughts. Today, I still struggle with these demons, but I ask my wife to keep a loaded pistol in her bedside table. If I began to scream and rant incoherently in the middle of the night, I instructed her to empty the entire clip between my eyes. At first, she objected, but our love is strong. It is thanks to my loving wife's promise that I have never slept as soundly as I do now. Damn, that is... That is creepy. Solo manuals, yeah, read that. Uh, let's do... Uh, oops, we can check in here first. Let's do that. Get some components out of this, why not? Uh, we can do 7A, 7A, 7A. How do we get... There we go. And now we can do BD and 7A. There we go, perfect. So let's see what's in here. Lots of files. Deleted files. Okay, they all they all have a different color. Might be code for something. Uh, there's a couple messages. Maintenance procedures. Uh, to all teams, we're coming up to our scheduled maintenance main, maintenance works. Y'all y'all know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. Mercenary on site. To all teams, despite making my reservations known, Target Alpha has decided to contact... Okay. What's this null call network? Uh, remote takeover. Surveillance system. That's the uh, lobby, okay. Next device. Pool outside. Corridor, nothing to see here. That's us. Right there. Um, just checking if there's anything weird. Hold on. Pad outside. Okay, I don't think there's anything really suspicious, I don't think. I'm gonna scan everything that I can. Some bullet holes right there. Bullet holes, cocked up. I didn't even see those. Um, I think I scanned the entire thing. Hold up, there's something there. All right. Oops. Let's go back here. Actually. Kinda wanna just turn it off, honestly. Alright. So that's off. Um. Why? Am I. I'm stuck in like scanning mode, I think. Hold up. Um, how can I leave the uh, scanning mode? I can go into it, but I can't leave it. That's freaking weird. Alright, so if we exit now... And uh, we're still in scanning modes. Well... That is annoying. Um, let's see, can I save the game and reload this? Because... It's just annoying as hell. And I can hardly see anything either way, so... Okay, let's load the game here. See if this works. Okay, I think... Yeah, we're back, alright. So let's see what else is around here. Something here to read. Fresh fruit. Uh, what's this? 
What you slot is what you got. The girl brushed a violet lack of hair from her forehead and winked at the man with the silver tattoo standing on the opposite side of the room, sending him the studied smile of a charming dit. At this point, Lucy Murray was the fluff-brained daughter of Cosmotech CEO, known for her love of hot pink cars and an IQ that matched her shoe size. The, she couldn't afford to slip out of character, not if she wanted to finish the job. Hey! She called out in a thin, pouty voice with a note of vocal fry. So glad you can come by. Ever since Daddy bought me this cafe for my B-Day, almost no one comes by, comes here anymore. She had him then. Hook, line and sinker. He turned to look at her, some exaggerated yet flirtatious pity in his expression, then started over toward the counter. Lucy executed a quick scan to identify the organic part of his body and prepared the hypodermic needle containing the sleeping agent. I think we've read... I think we've read this before. Uh, no, she would soon become the man with the silver tattoo. Yeah, we, we read this before, okay. Uh, something else here, what's this? The Chronicles of Titan. Tania, book one. Uh, I'm not sure if I've read through these, but honestly, I pff, I don't think I want to. Um, gonna let this scroll by if you want to read it, uh, because I'm not going to at this point. I think uh, we already read through enough uh, scrolls, honestly, <laughs> for a while. And it's, if it's just a story, then uh, I don't really want to know. Okay, still have to examine the apartment and follow the cables. We kind of know where the cables lead, but... Alright, maybe there isn't anything around here? That's just the stairs. As a lift. We can go to the lobby, but I don't want to do that. Alright. Uh, this is where we saw the bullet holes, right? Anything to say about that? Nope. We still have to examine the... Uh Follow the blood through here, or no? The blood goes in here, right? Yeah, that's kind of obvious, yeah. Uh, did we use this? Were we supposed to? Not really sure. Okay. Uh oh. I think these are the cables that we were supposed to follow. They lead here, obviously. Or maybe you hold up. Don't go up here or something. This leads, yeah, to the alley pads. As the cables, maybe we should. Let's just continue. Follow them. Oh, look at this. Odd. Text practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's coming. Huh, at. that's interesting. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Have I. What? Transmitters within reach of our mystery. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. What black van? How did V saw that? Uh, the uh, I have no idea how he saw that. Anyways, uh, we need to talk to Elizabeth now. Let's go back. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign can be threatened. 
Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Yeah. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure. Oh, well, okay. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so shall we... Alright, let's leave the apartment. Let's go on to the... Um... Wait. Where's the uh, goddamn lift? There we go. Leave, please. Look for the surveillance van. I wonder why... I still think uh, they're robots and they're being... Uh... <laughs> this is some sort of like social experiment or something. Because they're being so closely... Uh, closely observed. And all the talk of uh, alpha and maintenance... Really makes me wonder. Got something to say? How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Yeah, alright. That sounds good. Let's get uh, Let's get Beast out here. There ain't no running from the Beast. Okay. Let's check where the van is at. Uh huh, look at this. Oh, slipping away. Oh, we just have to follow. Okay, okay. I thought they were making a run for it or something. Put some radio here. Uh, let's go. Body heat. Why not? Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here. <laughs> I'm telling you, they could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what. I don't think the. Radio is working. Oh no, it is okay. Where are they going? Damn. Oh. Breaking the rules there. Jesus. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak Shit. spots, blood mail, rig elections. This can't end well, Johnny. They surely they know we're following them. <laughs> There's no other cars here. Uh, connect the... Oops. Shit. Connect to the van's access points. Alright, we're gonna go and... Poof it from here. Let's turn all these... 
bunch of people everywhere here. Um, kind of want to zoom in. Um, I'll just tag him. Tag. Alright. I think I, yeah, definitely saw someone else there. Okay, that one's running. There's another guy running up there, I think, or something. Um, Alright, let's see if we can do this without alerting anyone. Uh, look at this. Oh, hold up. There's an access point here somewhere as well. Get that. Thank you. So we could do fifty five ED seven A and then fifty five fifty five ED. Perfect. A bunch of stuff for us to eat. Alright, get all, get all the buffs, you know. And put the uh, gun away. I don't want to scare anyone. Okay. Oh, there's something here. Rare item components. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a camera right there. I didn't even Let's turn that off. There's another access point here somewhere. Oh, there's someone here as well, though. All right. Nice and quietly. Let's connect to the computer. Uh, BD, where the BD at? I can't do BD. 1C7A BD and then we could do the rest. 1C7A BD. And then 7A, 1C55. Oh, that was close. 7A. Oh, that's close, man. Uh, oh, we can't even get anyone. Oh, we failed this miserably. <laughs> miserably. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways. Uh, we need to go... Out through here? Are you... Are you kidding me? Another camera all the way... There. Uh, another one here. Jesus. This place is... Yeah. Actually... We might be able to disable all of this from here. We weren't distracted. Let's see, there's a local. Oh no, there's only nets. Okay, never mind that. Uh, let's try and go from the top, actually. Take care of these guys. There you go. Thank you. There's another fella here. I think this guy runs across, doesn't he? Yeah. Now we can grab him. Grab him. Oh, never mind. We are in combat. Do a synapse burnout here. There's someone here. Yeah. 
Come on, pop your head out. Oh, he's behind the wall. Who the hell are these guys? Someone right on top of me. Oh, back up. Holy shit. Arch. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely... Ugh. Can't believe the other guy turned around. We almost had them. Almost had them. Yeah, let's try this again.